beliefs and values the A to Z of faith. What are you doing? Looking in your homework diary. Well done. You will have picked a letter from the alphabet in class. Make a list of all the countries beginning with that letter. Then pick one country from your list. Mum. Write down some facts about the country you have chosen, including population, languages spoken, etc. As well as a short summary of the religion or religions practiced in that country. Oh, blimey, I'm glad I'm not still at school. What letter did you pick? V. V? Countries beginning with V. Venezuela. Vienna? Vienna's not a country. It's the capital of Austria. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so when does it have to be in by? Today, have you done it? I'll do it on the bus. Oh, Simon. Well, that's what you used to do, innit? Yeah, and look at me now. I'll do it after school in detention, then. Well, how are you going to do detention when you've got your match? I'll sort it. How? How are you going to find out the religious practices of Venezuela? I'll guess. Guess? I... <sighs> Hello? Hello? Matter? Matter, it's me, Eva. Hey. I brought you some food. You sleep OK? Back. Well, I've got you some cookies and an apple. Thank you. Sit down, darling. Did you, do you want to go out today or do you just want to stay here? Oh, sure. Yeah, well, I don't blame you. It's freezing outside. I don't have a coat. Well, I can get you something from home. Just stay where it's warm for today, the way. Do, do you want a gazette? For our local paper. County lost again. Full one. Mm. Mr. Connor will be in a great mood. It's our local football team. You do have football in Poland, right? Yeah, we have Lewandowski. He's the best striker in the world. Oh, right, well, we could do with him. So they all rolled over and walked down the road. Daddy, it's his head, and he gave a show. Roll over, roll over. Oh, Eva. You're early. So are you. Yes, I, I, um, I'm just a creep. <laughs> What's your excuse? Well, Kate's not in today. She's got to pick up a girlfriend while I pick up the slack. Ah. Oh. Well, you know what we are, don't you? Dedicated. Two right. One for Underworld and Underworld for all. <laughs> Let me hear you say it. Yeah. Maybe later, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <clears throat> the currency is the Bolivar, named after Simon Bolivar. Oh, <laughs> nice name. Who was born on the 24th of July, 1783. The population is 30.41 million and the language they speak is Spanish. Oh, and it was named after Venice. Uh, that was something to do with the Italian explorer who discovered it. Venezuela is the home to the world's highest waterfall, Angel Falls, and it boasts over 25,000 species of orchids. I'm doing the Virgin Islands. What? I've changed my mind. I'm not doing Venezuela, I'm doing the Virgin Islands. I don't want you to do my homework for me. I don't want you to come and watch me play football either. No offence. Uh, well, I am coming to watch you play football and I'm bringing your granddad. Definitely do not bring granddad. Who brings the granddad to a football match? Me. I'm relying on him for a lift. Well, don't. <sighs> oh, Sai, you. Sai! What type of effort are you thinking? Quarter page, probably. Nothing too fancy. Just need a slogan. Any inspiration? <laughs> Weatherfield Glass have got an advert here. Guess what their slogan is? <laughs> you can see right through us. Oh. <laughs> Idiots. You can see right through us. They haven't thought that through very well, have they? <laughs> Morning, Kev. Morning. Uh, two teas, sir. Uh, More lead. And he was. Mind if we join you? Well, I'm not stopping. So, we should be finished today. Oh, that's music to me, is. You're reading the funnies, Kev. Well, I'm trying to get a fix on uh, marketing the new place. An advert here for Weatherfield Glass. Guess what their slogan is? You can see right through us. <laughs> <It is. laughs> that's what I said. No, they're all right. I use them all the time. Good quality glass. It'd be like us calling ourselves Butch and Sundance. 
Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. So, what went wrong, Kev? Count it. <laughs> How long have you got? Go on, then. Show as you walk up and down. Oh, stop it. You're embarrassing her. Do you want me to show you how it's done? I shall model you my new coat. Ooh, who got you that? <laughs> William the Conqueror. It's not your birthday, is it? It's just a gift, Sam. He likes to do that for me, though, Billy. You know, just surprise me out of the blue. Although he thinks I don't like it. Do you? <clears throat> yeah, it's all right. It's a bit Russian, isn't it? What's wrong with that? Well, Moscow's where all the oligarchs hang out. What would you know about it? I can't see you in the Russian army. Why not? Morning, be all right. Morning. Old. Morning. Morning. Comrade. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody want a cup of tea? Hey, you're the cleaner, not the skivvy. You can make their own tea. No, well, I, I, I don't mind, honestly. Milk, no sugar. I'm getting my colour done later. I thought it was nearly time. I'm going to work through my dinner. I think we've got a mouse. <laughs> oh, everybody, calm down. Where? Hold the back. It's times like this I regret being in a wheelchair. Try living with a rat. I did. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to nip to the corner shop. Can you take care of things? Mr. Connor, I really don't think that's a mouse. Can you say this wine? Because... It was like a rustling sound, like paper being rustled, or pages being turned, like a newspaper, for instance. Well, yeah, that's the breeze. When the doors open, I always hear that. You never come back there. No one ever does. Since when do mice read newspapers? We've never seen Tom and Jerry. Can I come down now? Honestly, once, me and Mrs. Connor set a trap. And? Nothing. Right, everybody get back to work, Kirk. If you hear it again, let me know. So, what are you having done? Give me my tenner back and I'll tell you. I never took your tenner. No, like you never took that kid. Sorry, ladies, I'll be right with you. Oh, hi, David. How the old is today? Sorry, one second. Uh, yeah, sorry, Mrs. Lobby, if you want to go inside, Mrs. Bennett, Fuller. If you form an orderly queue, I'll be right with you. Uh, any idea when she's going to be back at work? I'm not. Sorry, Ken, you can see I'm up against it today. Sorry, Pat. Is that my all time favourite contractor? Trevor, it's Pat Feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, how are things up at Trafford? Is that all finished up there? Okay. Anything else you can throw my way? I've spade, will grovel. OK. You let me know if anything changes, yeah? OK. Judas. Is that my all-time favourite contractor? Brian, it's Pat Phelan. Oh, it was nothing. Mm. Doesn't sound like nothing. It was just a little chat. All right. Anyway, I'm not ready for all that. What are you ready for? Oh, a bit of tact, will you? What was his name? I can't remember. Can't remember. Well, all right then. It was called Tom. Mmm. Okay. I like that. Tom and Liam. Got a nice ring to it. No, stop it. So come on. Tell us about him. Well, he had these eyes. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> stop it. I thought you were working through your lunch hour. I was going to, but no one seemed to notice. I am your supervisor. Hello. Are you pulling rank? I've got good news and bad news. Which do you want first? Bad news, obviously. Jenny asked if she could join us. Didn't have the art to say no. She stole off me? Allegedly. Drink up, Sal. You should have seen the way she looked at me, though. Like a little cocker spaniel. Any news on the mouse? Hiya. Come on, Sal. We'd best be getting back. I'll make up for that last time. I really enjoyed that. Kirky? Oh, I haven't had a drink yet. Oh, is anybody serving? I should keep Jenny company. Kirky. And so Pat says, it'd be like calling ourselves Butch and Sundance, as if we were the cowboys, eh? <laughs> Yo. Listen, sorry about all that. What? All that talk in there. All that talk? I heard nothing. 
Well, I appreciate you saying that, but oh, look, I only had a conversation with him. Nothing happened. He just gave me his number, that's all. It's no problem. I meant what I said. I'm not ready. Can't mourn him forever. I well, will mourn him forever. But that doesn't mean that maybe one day I won't find somebody else. No, I know. And he did seem like a nice guy. Look, ring him. Go for it. Knock yourself out. Yeah, I might do. You should. Thanks. Hey, listen, Sai's got his uh, first football match with his new team later, if you fancy it. Gonna take Ken down, but he don't really want us to go, but maybe if you're there. I'm in. Nice one. We're kicking off in a minute. But this is why I'm always telling you to untie your laces properly before you take them off. Should I go and help? I think that might come with style. Mm. The worst thing is, the more you try to pull it free, the tighter it gets. All right, Barlow, having trouble with your laces? He's got a knot in him, if you must know. Who's that? All right, Sam Barlow, he goes to my school. His mum still ties his laces. Shut up. Ever tried Velcro? You should untie your laces properly before taking your shoes off, Amy. It's just the same. Yeah, let me have a go. It's fine before. Yeah, well, it's not fine now. I've had a little look, see? Your missus could have made a better job of it. Ron, it's Kevin Webster. Ron, you can tie his horse up outside. Yeah, we'll make him fetch a bag of oats. <laughs> can you wear me? Oh, there's a nail on the wall there where he can hang his Stetson unless he's been killed in a gunfight down the local street. Hello! <laughs> or oh, make him walk the plank, eh? <laughs> That's pirates, Jason. We're on cowboys. Right. Yeah, is that better? Good. Look, all my circuit's blown. Yeah, me and Jason on the case would have this whole place rewired in, what, three, four days? Yeah, I know. It'll cost a bob or two, mate. Yeah, I know you've already signed off on it. Come on, Jason. Knock the man out. Do some sums for him. He wants to be cutting the ribbon. Ron, you can give me as many certificates as you want. My lights won't work. No, it won't do next week. I'm supposed to be opening. All right, I'll call you back. So to his eyeballs on another job. So it's all done to the proper standards. He's given the paperwork. Paperwork? Yeah, Kev, you can't be cutting corners with electrical work. Leave old Blackbeard to us, eh? That's pirates again. All right, you two crack on. We'll sort out the small print later. You're the boss. Come on, boys. Carl Hart took in. What's it number 24? Oh, imagine getting that worked up over a bunch of lads playing football. Let's have a look, have a look. Good lad. What do you say? Don't let him get goal side of your side. Drop back. Come on. Children. At the end of the day, one team wears a green jersey, they wear blue. You think about all those mega stars, none of whom have any connection at all to the cities they're representing. Go, go, let's channel! And always that way, of course. It's Tom Finney, who was born in Preston. And who did he choose to play for? Yeah, well, if Tom Finney was playing today, he'd be playing for Real Madrid, he'd be a Galactico with loads of products in his hair. Yeah, well, he wasn't averse to a spot of brill cream, even then. Some things never change. Come on, Si! Get stuck in, lad. Hot time. Of all the sports halls, etc., etc. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, about there, right? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just watching my lad play uh, number 12, Simon Barlow. Oh, my number six, Jordan. Oh, you never mentioned the son. What? How did you? <laughs> <laughs> so, what about his mum? Separated. You? 
Oh, uh, divorced. Oh. Your mum's flirting at a kid's football match. Can she sink any lower? Don't let him get away from your side. Stay goal side. You're better than that. Come on. How much longer are we going to be, David, love? Uh, if you just bear with me, Mrs. Katz, I'm just on my own, you see. Did I tell you I saw a three-legged cat on the way here? You did, Beth, yeah. I can't think whose it could be. They always remind me of them robbing Reliance, especially when the leg's missing at the front. Mm. Is this the same dye your grand normally uses? I think so, why? Mm. Just feels different. Kylie says, what are the kids having for their tea? What? Yes, apparently you said pizza, but the one in the fridge ran out weeks ago. Are we really having this conversation? Mum, I've got a waiting area full of clients. Oh, hello, Mrs. Katz. How's your sister? Still badly. Mum, who's at home? Me and Kylie. All right, so between you, you can't knock up a bit of tea for the kids. You've got to come in here and ask me. Well, when you put it like that, um... I'll find something in the freezer. Yeah. Cheerio, then. Close the door on your way out. Mothers, who'd have a mate? Mm-hmm. Hey, what's the matter? Are you really that desperate? My manager at my first ever match. What? I'm trying to concentrate out there when all I can see is you chatting him up on the sideline. I just thought he was one of the other dads and I wasn't chatting him up. He's Jordan's dad, but he's also the manager. Come on, mate, you're missing this. Say, I just thought he's one of the other dads. Oh, you couldn't help yourself, could you? I'm here to support you. I didn't want you to come. Why did you even bother? And you brought off the street with you. I brought your granddad and Zidane. Oh. Someone's nicked me coat. Hey, you do one. It's gone. Perhaps it was the mouse. Or perhaps it was you, Jenny. Kidnapping's my game, not theft. Jenny's been here the whole time. If she stole your coat, then where is it? Because she's certainly not wearing it. Uh, are you sticking up for her? No. What's all this palaver? I'm being accused of stealing Sean's coat. Well, the Russian one. Why would she want to steal that? Oh, do you not like it? Well. As an owner of the means of production, it makes me slightly nervous. Really don't think Jenny stole the coat. Well, somebody has. All right, Sean, let's keep our heads. Have you looked everywhere? What? No, I've not looked everywhere, actually. I've looked where I should have looked, which is in my locker, on my peg. I'm telling you now, there's definitely something back there. Well, maybe it's Beth. I don't know if it's a ghost or a bogeyman or the world's biggest mouse, but there's something shifting around behind a load of boxes, and I even heard it talk. Oh, why? What's it said? I don't know. Was it in English, but... Sounding like a curse word. Everything all right in it? <laughs> you chump. Why didn't see you giving chase? What am I seeing the citizen? Give or take. Now that's how to model a court. Is it you are right? Is it safe to come out? Uh. What about underneath the arches, you know, like the song? Well, it's nobody catchy. All right, what's your slogan? I haven't got one. It's Grimshaw up north. Ah, very funny. <laughs> Listen, I don't need to advertise. I go off word of mouth. So how come your diary's wide open? <laughs> Same again, lads. <laughs> yes, please. Hey, there you are. Something's finally finished. <sighs> yeah, what do you think to this? Underneath the arches, big picture of the garage underneath the viaduct, you know, for the advert for the paper. What about underneath the viaduct? Once answer your question, no, we've not nearly finished. No, uh. Pat diagnosed the problem with a circuit. Did he now? Yeah, the lads are rewilding it this week for a very competitive price. Oh, right. It's funny that, cos I heard him on the phone earlier touting for business. Well, I'm always touting for business. There's no harm in that, is there? Yeah, but you couldn't get any work, could you? So I wouldn't put it past him if he sabotaged it. Whoa, whoa, hang on a minute, Anna. I think you got the wrong end of the stick here, love. What? You were there, were you? You never left him on his own? What are you talking about? Ron messed it up. These two are just riding to the rescue. Oh, you're like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Do you know what? He must think that you're daft, Kev. Maybe you are, but I'm not. No one you got picked if your mum's knocking off the coach. 
could have skipped any shorter, by the way. Referee, keep your eye on number 12. You do your job and I'll do mine. I wish you would. Why don't you put a blue shirt on and have done with it? <sighs> this is all rather unseemly. Are you keeping count, ref? Because that's three. I've got three. Why don't you keep it shut? You know what that is, mate? Fancy dress. One more word from you and you're off. What are you going to do? Send me to the stands? Well, just watch the game, Paul, yeah? You stay out of it. <laughs> what did I tell you? Number 12. <laughs> Get is that Simon? Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! <laughs> All right. You deserve that. <laughs> We're back in Coronation Street in half an hour.